Welcome back. Another video, that chipper guy, log pile that we just cut behind us. Uh, we just got this job done. We have been busy, busy, busy here. Um, lots of nasty beach. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a long job. So I had a comment and the comment was this about two weeks ago. Somebody said, nice deforestation of the great state of Michigan. Now, I know what you're gonna ask. What is deforestation? I looked it up just because I was curious to what it said. And this is what it states. It's a clearance or clearing, or clearing is the removal of a forest or stand of trees where the land is therefore converted to a non-forest use. Examples of deforestation include conversion of forest land to ranches, farms, or urban areas. So, we don't do deforestation. Rarely, hardly, almost never do we ever do deforestation in the state of Michigan. We cut down trees and those trees grow back up. Um, and this is the perfect job to explain kind of how this all works and the easiest way to explain how it works. But trees are just like any other thing that can be harvested, any other crop, it just grows up. It needs to be managed. If it's managed properly, it'll be, do just beautiful. When you let these forests grow and grow and grow and they're not managed properly, you just end up with a bunch of nasty, big, rotten wood, which is what I'm going to show you here in a second. And it's not that this was managed improperly. They just wanted to cut now. You need to cut the timber, okay? It needs to be, it needs to be managed properly, and there's all kinds of different ways you can do it. But letting a forest just grow, 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 grow isn't the greatest thing ever. Okay, and you don't end up with these logs that are worth $10 million a piece because trust me, it comments all the time about log prices of people that have no clue what they're talking about. Um, so on this job, uh, we cut this. This is a farmer's property here. Um, he's got asparagus planted all over. And then this is the corner that he had woods. So on this job, what he wanted he wanted this small sugar maples to grow. They will not grow when that tree stand in there, okay? And when this was just full of this, full of this big beach, it just won't grow. So the way to properly manage it is, it is to take some trees out. And the way that this job was taken out, we took all the aspen. It had a little bit of aspen in that corner. And that aspen was, was going, it was on the downside. That's, the, the aspen doesn't have a long life expectancy and then it starts to rot too and I can't tell you how many jobs we did where we would have yielded a lot better quality of logs and a lot more logs quantity of logs if it would have been produced 10 15 years before we had cut it um, once it starts going downhill it goes downhill fast trees fall over they start to die they get rotten they get punky they need to be they need to be cut down so um, there was some in the back there and then the rest was just a lot of beach and a little bit of maple. And so that's kind of what we dealt with here. And so many times people just see a big tree and they think that it's just got such a great quality and, and expensive log in it. And that's not necessarily true. Um, that maple right there, it was straight as an arrow. I bet you for 50 feet with with now it didn't have a knot on it for at least 40 feet um and that's what it was it had a hole going all the way through it and that's the other chunk and that's the other chunk over there it was just whole the whole thing was rotten and it wasn't any good but looking at it standing up you'd have thought that's a pretty decent tree and it's just no good so all that tree is doing is it's dead it's junk. If you cut that down, you'll have 30 more trees that grow under its canopy that will then start yielding yielding trees. So um, there's some more over here we can go look at real quick. And I can show you some that are still standing. And the contract reads to cut certain trees and leave certain trees. So that's why there's certain trees left and certain trees standing. And trees can't grow unless they get sunlight. So when we pulled in here, there was no sunlight in here at all. It was just, it was all shaded. So nothing was really growing up. We have a little bit of regrowth out there trying to come up. That stuff's gonna take off like wildfire and the regrowth will take off like wildfire once we get started. So once the sun starts hitting like it is now, um, it's gonna take off. And another thing is, is it has a disease, a beech bark disease on it too. So this actually needed to be cut too, because there's 
there's a uh, disease on the beach. All that white is all diseased. It's just another reason why you got to manage stuff. Um, so that's a couple things, but uh, we'll take, I mean, there's so much rot. This is all rot. I mean, I can't tell you how many beautiful logs I cut into that were all punk in the middle or just a hole and just rotten and you just have to sort through it to get your decent wood. I got a bunch of firewood in there. I tried to keep the rot out of there as much as I could, but I, I couldn't quite do that either. There's still some that got in there. Um, but because we don't like to sell rotten or firewood. But I mean, everything was just like this. This big old holes. Now, another question I get is all the animals that lived in these trees, okay? Because you do have a lot of, uh, in this beach, you will have a lot of porcupines, raccoons, honeybees, love these trees. Because what happens is, is they can get in that crack there, like right here, and that's a hole that then they can get on the inside of the tree, which is that, and they can get their honeybee, honeybees nests in there. So they love that hollow beach. And like I said, raccoons do, porcupines do. Um, so when you cut this down, obviously it's not gonna yield any porcupines or raccoons much anymore because they don't really have that much of a place to live. Um, and a lot of people say, you know, you're, you're taking stuff away from the animals. And once this stuff starts regrowing, you have a whole nother ecosystem of animals that come in here. Um, whether it be woodchuck or all these, or, uh, all these other, it's, it's a whole thing. It's a big circle. Okay. When you have these big timber, certain animals grow. When you have regrowth, other animals flourish. And it's just the way, to be honest, that God created it. Um. But that rotten stuff there, oh mercy. The landlord did say he's seen a coon run out over there. I said, yeah, we probably took its home away. But uh, coons I'm not happy with, porcupines. I hate porcupines, so they kill trees too. They have no problem killing a bunch of trees. That's one thing that's for sure. But this is kind of our job. The stumps are a little higher, but they're, they were big beach and they're heavy, trust me. If you, once you, the slasher can hardly pick some of them up, it's so heavy. So the cutter, um, they're not really that high, but they're not, I mean, you can't cut that one down low to the ground. It's just too big. So that's why you have that. So I get comments all the time on why we cut these big, huge trees and people get all flustered and they, they don't know a whole lot. And it's not, it's just, they just don't understand what we're doing, you know? So I thought I'd make a quick video and just kind of explain what's going on. Um, these ones were left. Again, I don't know what the contract read or nothing. So I'm just showing you something that that tree right there is all junk. Okay. That's a nice big maple tree. Uh, and you see she's split and she's got another hole. Right there's a hole, and with this on the other side, I can tell you that's a rotten tree all the way up. And it doesn't do any good. And there's a dead ash tree. And there's another maple with a big old hole in it. And stuff like this, it needs to come down. Just for regrowth purposes. Cut down that tree, you'll have 30 more pop up, and uh, that's just how this goes. But I just wanted to make a video. We don't do deforestation, that's not really what we're into. We're not in the land clearing business, um, and those people aren't all wrong either. So, everybody's doing it, trying to make a living, trying to provide for their families. We're not out here going gangbusters and just raping people's land. That's not what we're into. Um, we're into, we took the big beach out of here, kept it as clean as we could, and that's gonna look beautiful. In a couple years, there'll be trees sprouting up all over this place. You won't be able to walk in here. It's gonna be too thick, and the deer are gonna move in like crazy and pile in here. And uh, they love when we come cut stuff like this. So it's just a big circle. I know 
some farmers hate the deer uh, because obviously they ruin a lot of their crops. Um, some people are mad because people shoot deer, and it's just a, it's just a, it's just people's lifestyles, you know. That farmer's trying to make make a living to provide for his family, and the deers eat all his crops up, and more power to him killing all them things off. And loggers are just trying to make a living. And honestly, managing the forest is just a wonderful way to do it because it's just like any other crop. This is going to grow right back up. And 30, 40 years, you'd come in here and cut it again. So if you wanted to, or you could let it grow and uh, go from there. But that's this job we're on. And that's just how it works. That's just how it works. We got a few logs. But this job turned out good. That'll look nice out there. Um, looks nice. We had to, by the time we cut some timber, the wind was coming and it blew over some more, so I had to cut some stumps off and just try to keep it all looking beautiful for him. But we're not in the deforestation business. That's not at all what we do. Some people are just, they don't understand quite what we're doing. So I thought I'd make a video trying to explain just a little bit of what we do. Um, we're managing this forest one tree at a time and I have other videos on here of we went back to a I, I went back to a couple jobs of many years ago that we cut four or five six years ago and showed you how tall the regrowth was and everything like that um, it, it takes off quick it takes off quick there's trees behind our shop that are sprouting up from what we cut this spring so Let's go to the shop. We're back at the home base. And this is our little bark pile that we had left over from when we chipped this this spring. And I got a little bit of wind right now, so I'll try to keep you all out of it. But you can kind of see our regrowth coming up after we cut it. That's all stuff that's just started sprouting up since we cut it this spring. Um, there's some aspen coming up in here. Some aspen suckers popping up pretty hot and heavy. So, I mean, look at all of them. They're everywhere out there. And all we did was cut around this little bowl. This little hole. But, uh, the deer have found it. And our, uh, nipping them off trying to get them something to eat but yeah you see where he cut that stump right there and he just barely missed that but he cut that stump right there and all these are suckers coming off from that stump there so see the, there's another stump in here somewhere it's a rock but once you cut that down these suckers just start popping up everywhere. And uh, this spring, right there, they are popping up quick and they're all over the place. So that's what happens. We uh, cut some trees down and more trees just grow and grow and grow and grow. And he cut that one off high so we didn't hit that. And those are stuff that's grown since he's cut it. So, um, yeah. Just going to show you how quick that stuff comes up. Uh, another sucker. They come up quick. So, just thought I'd show you guys what happens after we cut it. It's, it's not barren wastelands. She starts to regrow quick. And things start popping up. And it, like I said this spring and look at all of it some of them are tall too I mean they're five six seven foot tall and uh, we haven't even it hasn't even been a year yet since we cut it so yeah a little bit of some junk rims what we do with them is we make some really nice culverts out of woods culverts we call them weld them all together so 
that's what's going on. This stuff's just popping right back up. I mean, them are all trees. So, thanks for watching. Just keep going.